Salut everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Path of Exile 2 Early Access on your Linux machine. And you might encounter like some little issue, so I'm going to show you like all the process, but also like all the fix to make sure you have the best experience on Linux. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. I want to tell you guys that about the early access for Path of Exile 2 and I was streaming when the game released. Unfortunately, uh, during uh, like the, the, the release date, like the launch day, uh, I, I couldn't log in into the server. But, 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 the game was ready and running on Linux day one for the launch. A few hours later, I was able to log in and I had a blast. However, I do believe that for someone who might come from Windows or even like a, a Linux user, it might be a little bit complicated uh, to fix certain issues, but also just install uh, the game. If, for example, like uh, you have the game only on the game launcher from GGG and not on Steam. The way I'm going to show you everything here is like, I'm going to cover how to install the game through the GGG launcher. You will see it's pretty straightforward. Then I'm going to show you how to install it on, on Steam. <laughs> like it's, it's finger in the nose. And just in case like you didn't do it earlier, I'm going to also show you how to link your account. For example, like your GGG account, your Path of Exile account, like original account to Steam for just like having like the easy approach. <laughs> when it comes to uh, playing on Linux. And uh, then I'm going to show you how to fix and pot potentially like optimize uh, the way you play on both NVIDIA and AMD. That's the plan for the video. So just sit, grab some popcorn and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up right away like that. Uh, we, we are straight on this. I count on you guys. So let's start with the install of the GGG launcher. I'm, I'm going to call it like that. I, I think this is the right way, GGG launcher. Uh, this launcher is the one which is provided by Path of Exile website, the one I'm on right now. And what you need to do, you need to sign in. And when you sign in, you're going to have access to the download part. So you just click on download now on the, on the top left here. You will have the link to actually download the installer. And this is really important. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, you can also access it through Steam and Epic Game. So my choice of game launcher on Linux for this specific game is Heroic. And to be fair, it always been Heroic for the last like uh, year and a half because I really like the way you can play with it and, and switch from wine and proton so i know some of you guys in the comment are going to be like hey you are not supposed to do that you're supposed to uh, wait for the launch of umu etc etc and i do agree with you it might not be the cleanest way to do it but this is the one that works the best in my opinion right now so i'm running cache os and what you're gonna do you're gonna go and launch heroic so i already installed it and here we are and now I'm going to show you how to install the launcher. You will see it's pretty straightforward. So what you're going to do, you're going to go in Heroic. You're going to click on Add Game. And then you're going to type Path of Exile 2. Here you're going to click there and it's going to find the nice little like image for your uh, library. Select the platform version you want to install Windows. Then you're going to go on Show Wine Settings. Here you modify whatever you want, but I personally wouldn't touch it. Make sure you have Wine installed. So here I'm on Cache OS. It's installed via the Gaming Meta Package. I already advise you to go watch my video uh, tutorial concerning gaming on Cache OS. Like that, you're going to be solid and you're going to have everything installed. Uh, here you can switch the path. I'm going to I'm going to let it like that because it's pretty clear to me. But you can put whatever path you want here. And the trick, which is super important, is then first you need to run the installer first. So on paper, you already download the installer. And the one you want to selection is Path of Exile 2 installer. So I downloaded it previously. You selection it, you click open, and then it's going to start the install of the launcher itself. You're going to have this little window here. Uh, you agree, okay? The option is just to show you why it's going to install here. Yeah, there is nothing to change. And then you click on install. Boom, it's done. 
you close. And here the trick is that you're going to have to select the executable. So you go, you open it here. You go in Drive C and you selection Program File X86, Grind Gear Games, Path of Exile 2, and you selection Path of Exile.exe. Open. And then it's, you click on Finished. Boom. And now what you need to do, you just press play and you're going to have the launcher. So right off the bat, it's going to download the whole game and then you're going to log in into the game and then you're going to have to put your credential within uh, the, the, the game itself. So you, 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 you just go through there. Okay, so as simple as that. So we are going to wait for the download to be done and then I'm going to show you in detail how to launch the game. Again, nothing crazy there. All right, so I finished downloading the game and now I'm going to close this window. I'm going to go through the settings with you guys. Like that, you're going to have a better understanding of what's going on. Here, you can choose whatever you want. My recommendation will be to, to go with uh, any type of Proton version you are using. So for example, here, I'm going to go with uh, Proton Cache OS. Uh, I'm going to make sure that it auto install and update uh, DXVK NVAPI. You don't need E-Sync and F-Sync. I don't use them. Here, you don't need the anti-cheat either. We're going to enable MongoHUD. Like that, you're going to see the FPS. And uh, yeah, I should be fine. So I launch the launcher again. And the game is going to launch. So here, when you launch it for the first time, you're going to see at the top, it's launching through Vulkan. And if you have an NVIDIA card like me, there is a high chance you're going to get a black screen. And we're going to talk about this after, like to fix this issue. But as you can see, the game launched. Now, if you want to install the game on Steam and you didn't buy the game on Steam, you will see it's pretty easy. You're going to click on your account here. And then you click on my account. Then it's going to open this page. And here, what you need to do, you need to click on manage account here. And after that, you're going to arrive on this page. And on this page, what you need to do, you need to connect your game with whatever service you want to use. So you could use Epic Game, you could use Steam or Sony or Microsoft. So here in my case, I did connect it with Steam. You click on that, it's going to ask you your permission, ask you to log in Steam, and then you're going to have the game also available on Steam. Now to install the game on Steam, it's pretty straightforward. You go on your game list, you go on it, you click on install, and it should be fine. To launch the game itself, you don't need any launch option as we speak. Outside of the basic one you want to use, for example, MangoHUD or GameHUD Run, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Now, when you launch the game, you're going to have exactly the same issue as if you are launching the game through the launcher on Heroic. So here, what you need to do, you need to open a new terminal, and I'm going to give you a trick. So I'm going to make it bigger here. For you guys and i'm going to put the link of the command in the description below you need to type this command here and it's going to find all the different uh, poe2 production config file you need to edit to make the game launch so if you are using an nvidia card i'm going to show you how to do that so you go and you edit the one you need so for example this one is the one related to my heroic game launcher and this one is the one related to my steam application so on paper you should have only one because you didn't have to install on both uh, launchers there like i did for the purpose of this video so we're gonna look at the one uh, for steam for example well what you need to do you you just need to edit it so here you're gonna do and type nano copy and pass this one so i don't think it's gonna work because there is space there so here is what we're going to do. Remove that. My games, Path of Exile 2, and then PoE2, sorry, uh, underscore production, uh, underscore config.ini. Okay, so you just have to redo it this way. Here you're going to tap enter. And the line you want to move and change is this one here. Renderer type. DirectX 12. So if you are using an NVIDIA card and you have a black screen, you want to make sure you set that up to DirectX 12. 
And even if you don't experience any type of issue with Vulkan, with NVIDIA, I would recommend to use DirectX 12 on Linux. I know it sounds crazy, but I noticed that with Vulkan, at least on my machine, I had vSync force no matter what. Using DirectX 12, it kind of like remove vSync and the game works. So here, normally you should have uh, something like that, like a Vulkan. Okay. And what you do, you remove it and you type DirectX 12, you save, control O, and you exit. Game over. Now the game is gonna launch. And to prove you uh, my point, I'm gonna do it through Heroic there. So same thing here, nano, copy and pass the path. And what you're gonna do here, I'm gonna go back and make sure the path is, is all right. So obviously it's not, so enter. And you will see here it's gonna be Vulkan. So you, that's why it was bugging. Then we're gonna change it to DirectX 12, save. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna relaunch Heroic just to show you. And the game is gonna launch no issue at all. This is just awesome. Boom. 360 FPS on the loading. <laughs> we got the sound. Everything works. So I think he's gonna play the demo here. Um, try to see if I can. No, I can't. Okay, well. There we go. It's working. And here you're gonna type your email, your password, and you're gonna get good. You're gonna be good to go. So now we are at the loading menu here. And I'm gonna show you something. I'm running at like 340, 50 FPS. I just wanna share my setting with you real quick. So here you're gonna stay on DirectX 12. Uh, then you're gonna make sure that you're on window full screen. Honestly, like on Linux, it won't change a lot of things, especially if you are using Wayland. Vsync off, obviously. Uh, here for the GLSS, I do like uh, the way GLSS work on this game. Uh, so just put it there and quality. I had a really good experience, no issue at all. Then I let everything on default. You can use uh, NVIDIA Reflex here, no problem. And some stuff I noticed is like I try to disable triple buffering, but I just can't. You see, like when I click on it and it kind of shows like there is maybe issue uh, within the game or within the driver or some, something is happening here uh, and, and I can't disable that with my NVIDIA card. You guys, AMG card, like let me know if you can switch this off, but for whatever reason, it doesn't work on Linux. I tried on, on Windows and it was working. And yeah, that's all. Honestly, like game work really, really well on Linux. Uh, you don't have a lot of tweaks to do, to be fair. So here it is, guys, uh, running the game, 250 FPS. If I unzoom, I think I'm going to be at like, what, like 225, 230 FPS, which is pretty dope. I've been playing for like 12 hours, I think, 10, 10 12 hours, and their experience has been awesome on Linux. I don't think I, I need to add anything else. I'm going to go and enjoy my time with my pyro uh, sorceress here. We're going to... I needed some guys there. This is pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, that's all. And I almost die. Obviously, I want to show off and I almost die. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day and enjoy this game on Linux. And as always, take care and bisous bisous.